Hi guys, it's Amy from Feel Better With Yoga. By now, depending on where you live, where you are, um, we're all at different levels of how deeply entrenched we are in the coronavirus that's affecting all of us right now. Um, here in Houston, I'm probably a week and a half or so into all the changes. Um, staying home from work, not going to restaurants. Uh, and I know that all of you, all those things that we have to look forward to at the end of the day, at the end of the work week, um, have been taken from us. Even our children can't go to school and meet their friends. And we can feel very isolated. I know I do. Even in a house that's more crowded than usual, we still feel very alone and isolated from others. So today, for this practice, I'd like to take, let this practice be one of feeling together. Because this isn't affecting just my city, my state. It's not affecting just us in the United States. It's affecting the whole world globally. All of us, everywhere, are in this together. And we may not see each other or be able to get together and feel like we're together, but we are. We are experiencing this individually, but in parallel unison. And in that way, we are all together in this. And simply bringing that to our focus, uh, really helps us start to feel a little bit more connected. We are all in this together. So let's let that feeling of community and togetherness be the theme of our practice. With every breath you take, you're seeing me. A lot of you are seeing me. We're all in this together. Every breath you take, notice it and feel that. Okay, find a comfortable seat. A lot of people don't really like sitting on the floor. It hurts your back, it hurts your knees. So I've got, this is a, bolst a bolster I have. It doesn't have to be a fancy yoga bolster. Couch, cushion, um, a stack of books, whatever you want, blocks if you have any, anything to raise you up a little higher so that your knees can fall a little lower than your hips, which gives a little bit of space in the lower back and doesn't feel so achy. So find a comfortable way to sit. I'm gonna swipe the gnats out of my face because it's been raining a lot we got a lot of those. Close your eyes, sit up tall, and find your breath. Listen to mine. As you hear mine, breathe with me and feel that connection of us together. Every breath coming in, filling you up, and every breath leaving you a little bit looser and more relaxed than you were before. Notice where you feel your breath coming into your body. Maybe you feel it most in your nose, maybe dry in your throat. Maybe you feel it through the movement of your chest, your rib cage, maybe even feeling your belly rise and fall. Notice that rhythm of your breath, how it comes and goes without any input from you. What a beautiful thing that it's so automatic been breathing like this since the moment you were born. We will do it for our entire lives. Notice what you're feeling here physically. I feel wind on my face and in my hair. I feel, I do, I feel little gnats and things touching me. I feel the bolster lifting me up and I feel my ankles and feet pressing into the ground. Notice what you feel right now. All those things that we tend to ignore and not notice. Notice them right now. If you're having any pain or discomfort today, notice that too. We're not trying to ignore it. We're learning to sit with everything that we're feeling, the good stuff and the not so good stuff. Learning not to escape it, not to distract ourselves from it, but sit with it and feel it. One more breath here. Let it out. Bring your hands to your thighs or your knees, wherever you can reach, doesn't matter. And we're going to start to move in circles and rocking a little bit, matching our movement to our breath, letting our breath go. 
guide everything that we do today. So hold on to knees or thighs, breathe in, lean towards one side, pull yourself forward, support yourself with your arms, exhale, push back away from your knees and keep that moving. Inhale forward, exhale back. Move with me, breathe with me. Let the sound of your own breath soothe you the way watching the ocean is soothing, watching waves come to shore and ride back out. Your breath sounds like that. One more in that direction. And go the other way. Inhale, around, big or small, whatever feels good. Keep that moving. In yoga, we're not trying to achieve any particular poses or reach any expectations. Our whole goal is not in the end point. The goal is in the process of moving and breathing and feeling all of that. One more in that direction. Exhale, push back. Keep your hands where they were. We're going to come into a seated cat-cow, that arching and rounding that we do of the back. As you inhale, hold on to the knees or thighs, pull back, chest pulls forward, maybe let your head fall back, shoulders back, exhale, push your back away from your knees and keep that moving. Inhale, creating a little arch, exhale and round. One more. Hey, okay. come to sitting tall. Neutral spine, which just means that flat back or straight back. Okay, we're gonna bring some arm movement into it. Inhale, one arm back, reach it up, forward and down, exhale. Inhale, exhale, forward and down. As though you're swimming. One more. Good. Sit up tall. Bring your hands to your shoulders. And let's just twist side to side. Inhale, turn to one side. Exhale to the other. Keep that moving. Breathing yourself side to side. Might feel good to close your eyes. Might also make you dizzy. So do what you need to do if you need to open your eyes and look straight ahead. One more. Come back to center, drop your arms down. Let's come up off the floor, whatever you're sitting on. If you're sitting on something, move it out of the way. If you're not, you're gonna come onto hands and knees. Okay. Onto hands and knees, into tabletop. And we're not trying to be rigid or tight here. Let's just be loose, rock a little bit. Let your head hang, push one hip over and then push the other hip to the other side. Maybe rock your head a little bit. Good, come back to center. A Little bit of arching and rounding. Inhale, face and chest come up. Exhale, round, curl up. Heart pulling up to the sky. Keep that moving, breathing yourself in and out of this. Imagine all the other people who have watched or might watch this video moving with you. See me moving with you right now. Maybe next time you practice, you could have somebody join you, somebody in your house. Last time. Neutral spine. Let's come into a downward facing dog. Curl the toes under and we lift the bottom up towards the sky or the ceiling, walk your feet back. So that's one way to do downward facing dog. If that feels just too much for you, get blocks, bring blocks under your hands, or I say blocks, it could be anything, uh, the edge of a coffee table, anything. You can make it go higher, you can even bring blocks up to here. So really, I'm just, it looks like I'm just standing here, 
but I feel that big stretch in the backs of my legs, length through the spine. Wherever you go to, march your knees in place and say hello to those very tight calves and hamstrings and hips that are going, hey, thank you for stretching me out a little bit. Wherever you are, on blocks or hands on the floor, whatever, bring your knees down to the ground now. And let's bring one foot out in front of us. This is again a place where you can use blocks or the coffee table. Bring a foot in front of you. If it needs to go around to get out there, do that. I'm gonna get a block or coffee table. Bring it down beside you, fingertips on top of the block. If you have nothing at all, put your hand on your thigh. We're gonna lift the opposite arm up and a little bit over. Push the hips forward just enough so that you're still in that, that straight body alignment. And what we're looking for, we get this huge side body stretch, but notice here, that's where I feel it the most. I feel this wah, this glowing ah release and stretch of the hip flexor. And we're not trying to push into that or force it, we're just noticing and breathing and relaxing into it. One more breath. Exhale that arm all the way down. Then we'll bring that foot a little farther out in front of us, blocks or hands on the floor. Come into that kneeling lunge. And I like to lift my back kneecap up a, just for a second, set it back down to sort of tuck the kneecap under. Think of all the people in your life that you know, that you work with, or family and know that they're all going through this exact thing today together in their houses where you can't see them, but we're all in this together. Feel your breath make its way into your body. Let it out. One more breath. Okay, exhale, shift back. Stretch out the stiff front leg. It doesn't need to go straight. You can have a little bend in it. If you have blocks or something to hold on to, Move those wherever you need them to be to support you. One more breath. Okay, bring that knee back down to the floor. If you need to, stretch it out a little bit. Other foot forward. Come up tall, big breath in. Lift the opposite arm of the leg in front, up and over. Bottom arm touching a block or coffee table or a chair next to you, anything. Keep your hips in line with your chest, all one straight line, so that you feel that stretch in the hip flexor and top of the thigh. One more breath. Exhale, take that top arm down. Walk, hold on to the blocks, bring that foot back, stretch it out if you need to. Knee back to the ground. Let's come into a downward facing dog. Hands on the blocks or on the floor or even on a chair. Walk your feet back. Let your head hang. March your feet in place. And bring that thought into your mind again. We are all in this together. I am not alone. I may feel alone and isolated, but I am not alone. One more breath. Okay, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Bend your knees as much as you need to get here. We'll come up into mountain pose. Protect your back, use your arms to press up to standing. Feet can be together, or for even better balance, hip distance apart. Stand tall, mountain pose. Feel the earth beneath your feet. And if you're in your house on carpet, the earth is below that. The earth is always there holding us in place. The earth has watched more catastrophes and disasters and wars and illnesses than we could ever possibly imagine, and it's still here underneath us, supporting us. Feel that beneath you and feel grounded and know that we're all in this together. Okay, let's move in and out of mountain pose. Inhale, arms out and up, hands reach. Exhale, hands to heart, forward fold, keeping a pretty straight back. Fingertips wherever they want to go, to the floor, to blocks, to your thighs. 
soft bend in the knees if you need. Keep moving in and out of that. Inhale, energizing and reaching. Exhale, grounding. Find the earth beneath you. Listen to my breath. Breathe with me. One more. Rise back up. Put some bend in the knees. Come into chair pose. You can do a little tiny bit of bend. You can do a deeper bend. It makes no difference. Do what feels right to your body, what your body's asking for. Arms can be soft and relaxed, or maybe make them super strong. Whatever feels good to you. I'm watching to see if my tripod blows over, because it did the other day when it got windy, like it's doing right now. Okay, rise back up to standing. Let's come into warrior one. Step the left foot back, stay on the right foot. Feet hip distance apart. And then raise your arms, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knees, sink down. Feel the whole surface of each foot and the pads of all 10 toes gripping the ground. Imagine your feet growing roots deep down into the earth. That's what hold plants in place is their roots. Imagine we've got the same, feel that. One more breath. Okay, now inhale. And as you exhale, fold forward a little bit, bowing forward, back and arms line up with the back leg and that's whole straight body and then breathe yourself back up. And exhale forward. If you've got a touchy back, bring your hands to your thighs to support you. Feel the power of this movement. Breath lifting you up and the exhale letting you float towards the ground. Hear my breath. Hear my voice and know that we're doing this together. One more. Okay, as you inhale, rise up. We're going to face the side edge of the mat into warrior two. Hands down, hands up. If your arms are tired, hands together at your heart. Be here. Feel this whole beautiful, strong shape of yourself. We are a lot more than what can be defined by our physical bodies. Feel that. Okay, one more breath. Exhale, we're going to tip over to this bent leg. Extended side angle, reach the top arm up to the sky, palm forward. Wiggle your fingers in the air and feel that. One more breath, and we're going to take this top arm and move it in circles as we breathe. So ready? Inhale, lift that arm high. Exhale, hand towards the top of your mat, down to the floor, and then inhale it back and up. Exhale it forward and down. Feel the beauty and the strength of this movement of your arm. One more. Okay, arm lifts up, and then hand on this thigh straight, not that leg, straight-ish. It can keep a bend in it a little bit. Push that hip over to the side just a tiny bit into triangle. And we feel that shift from a lot of work in this thigh to now being a great big beautiful stretch right here in the inner thigh and up this whole side of the body. Listen to your breath. Listen to my breath. One more breath. Okay, use that bottom hand to rise back up. Straighten out that knee. Now all we're going to do is spin around and face the other side of the mat or the room. So you're still able to see me right here. Adjust your feet because as we spin like that, we probably brought our feet into a tightrope straight line, which 
is really hard to balance on. So bring the feet apart like you're on skis again. And then find your warrior one. Inhale, exhale, sink back down. Oh, my front foot's coming off the rock, so I got a little divot. Throughout the whole practice, just like in life, throughout our whole lives, we can notice this breath coming and going. Notice it here. Feel that lightness of your body as you breathe in. But then the weight and gravity of the earth pulling you down. Lightness and groundedness, those, those opposites constantly at play. One more breath. And as you exhale, arms come down and a little behind you, fold forward some, and then strong and light. Breathe in, rise back up, arms big to the sky or your ceiling. Exhale, fold forward. Feel your mat or the carpet or the insides of your shoes underneath your feet. One more. And fold forward, then we'll rise back up to standing and again open into warrior two and see what happened as we open like that. This foot is way back there, so I'm going to inch it forward. That's not for pretty sake, that's to keep our alignment safe, to keep our knees and hips and back and everything safe. Arms wide, wiggle your fingers, palms up or palms down, whatever you feel like. Again, feel your breath. What do you hear wherever you are right now? You hear kids playing, kids fighting, phones ringing, dogs barking, I don't know. I hear wind, I hear a lawnmower, I hear birds. One more breath. Okay, exhale, bring that bottom hand to your thigh, other arm reaches up, extended side angle. Remember here, you can take your feet as wide as feels good to you, but only as feels good to you, not what you think you should be doing to do more. Reach this arm for the sky. Feel all that in there. Huge stretch all the way down the ribs. Then we're going to circle this arm too. Ready? Inhale, pull that arm up. Exhale it forward down to the ground, and then inhale it back and up. Exhale forward and down. One more circle. Let that arm drop and then bring it back up. Straighten out the, the bent leg. Push this hip, hip over your hip. Okay, hip over to the side a little bit into triangle. This hand can slide down to wherever it stops, wherever your back and legs say. Hey, no more, stop. And breathe. You can look up towards your fingers if you want. To be honest, that tends to make me fall. So I look straight ahead, or even better, down at the floor. One more breath. Okay, use that bottom hand. Push back up to standing. Bring your feet a little closer together. And let's come down onto our knees, but with wide knees, and come into frog pose. So the feet are kind of close together, near each other. Take your knees as wide as is comfortable. Hands in front of you. And then if you can, bring your elbows down to the floor. I'm gonna bring my elbows into the rocks. Did not plan this well. And the whole goal is this big stretch to find where the stretch is safest and most helpful to you here, a little bit here. So it might be with your bottom pushed back towards your feet. It might be with your hips way up high in line with your knees. My favorite, I just like to rock in and out of it. And I didn't bring anything out here, but if you need, when we do stuff like this, have towels and blankets nearby to pad your knees. Self-care. One more breath. OK, 
Okay, bring your hands onto the ground and gently bring your knees back together. And then come to lie down on your back. Oof, I got this in the wrong place. Okay, bend your knees, hold on to your knees or your shins, gently hug that in, rock a little bit. Let your feet find the ground. Keep your knees bent. And now we're going to take, we're going to do a little bit of very gentle tummy work. And I've never been a big fan of tummy work. Hi. Hey, I'll be honest, I hate it. I love doing this. One leg comes out straight, other leg bent. Arms, wherever, wherever they feel good. And then the important part of this, we're going to press the lower back, that arch in the lower back, we're going to press it down towards the ground. And what that does is automatically use the belly. So we're not going to be straining the back as we lift a leg. It's all belly work. This straight leg, we're going to lift and lower it as we breathe. Remember, breath moves you. Inhale, lift that leg only as high as the other thigh. Exhale it back down. I'm pressing my lower back towards the ground, and I feel all this working. Keep that moving. I can't decide where I want my hands to go. Breath lifts, exhale, lowers and ground. You hear my breath. Hear your own breath. We're doing this together. Like you, I'm stuck at home. I'm babysitting grandkids because my daughter is in nursing school and doing classes online. My college kid had to come home. Everybody's home, we're all stumbling into each other. Like, what the heck do we do now? Me too, all of us together. Parallel, unison. One more. Okay, let that down, bend the knee, plant the foot on the ground, relax everything, and then take the other leg out straight. Press the lower back down, lift and lower. Breathe in, breathe that back down. Women often have uh, difficulty with their abdominal muscles because lots of women have been through so much trauma to their bellies. They have C-sections, they have abdominal surgeries, hysterectomies, things like that. Well, after you have something like that, sometimes it's really hard for the belly to work again. So I have lots of women that tell me, I can't even feel that. What do you mean engage my belly? And so. More important than doing sit-ups and crunches and things like that are these nice, gentle, just pressing the lower back down and letting the belly naturally engage and practicing that feeling of tightening. One more up and down. Good. Relax the knee, bend the knee, put the foot on the ground. One more time, hug your knees in. I like to cross my ankles here, just because that's how I naturally go. So do what feels good. Knees together or apart, doesn't matter. One more breath. Okay, come back. Flat on your back. Let the knees fall open. Happy baby. So you can keep holding on here, just relaxed, not pulling, or reach through and grab ankles, or you could grab your feet. You could even wrap fingers around the big toe. Let everything relax. And then if you can, if you're able, see if you can take the feet apart. And rock. Imagine a baby that's just discovered its feet. What, four or five months old? If you've had babies, you know, somewhere around then they discover their feet, and it's the coolest thing ever. So capture that, that feeling of the beauty of your back rocking on the ground hips loose. Maybe kick your feet around. Ah, if I go this way, I'm going to fall over off the rock. <laughs> it's crooked. Okay, bring your feet back together. Take them down to the ground. Make one leg go flat. Not straining. Let it relax. Hug the other knee in. And feel that gentle release right here in the top of the thigh and the hip flexor. 
Now we're going to take this knee. We're going to let it go. I got to I got to unhook. Got some audio stuff going on. Take that knee across the body towards the opposite side. Little spinal twist. So we're giving our spine a twist. We're also stretching the hip. The IT band down the side of the leg. So here you can open your arms out wide or this back arm if that feels uncomfortable, bring it up above your head, big stretch there. Or you can even just relax it right here on you. This arm out to the side in front of you, maybe you could, you, if you want, bring it to your thigh just to give it a little bit of weight to let it stay down. If you haven't noticed yet, I'm a bit of a rocker. I like to rock and wiggle in poses and relaxing. So if it isn't to you, don't do it just to match me. Do your thing. Okay, back onto your back. We'll hug this knee in. One last time. Let your breath out. Take that leg down. Push it down and then other knee. Hug it in. Okay, and let that knee go and just let it rock across the body. Your foot can be inside the thigh or it can just fall over, whatever. Now, I had shoulder surgery a year and a half ago, so this shoulder doesn't really like doing this very much. So you know what I'm going to do? This feels good. And some days it just feels good to just lay it right here. We all have different bodies. Listen to what yours needs. Rock back onto your back. Hug that knee in one more time. Let that down. Now I'm going to bend both my knees and we'll come into resting pose. Whatever that looks like for you. Typically in yoga studios, they do Shavasana, which means corpse pose, and they lay like this. Well, I can tell you I've been doing yoga for ever and I hate this. This hurts my back. I do this. So if that feels great to you, do it. If this feels better, do this. And that's where I'm going to bring this in. So you can always have, next time you do this, or pause and go get one, bed pillows, couch cushion, anything. You can even bring your legs up to the seat of a chair or the couch just to have them elevated. See what that does to my lower back? Presses it down. No back pain. You can even put a pillow or a blanket or towel under your head arms wherever you feel coziest. And now individually houses and places let's rest together. Notice the feeling of everything in your body right now and then feel where this whole back plane of your body comes into contact with the ground. I feel my heavy head, the back of my head pressing down into the ground. I'm looking for tension, letting my face relax, holding no expression as though I just fell asleep, even letting my jaw be slack. As I breathe, I feel how open my throat is, feeling that air travel through it. For the first time probably all day, I'm letting my shoulders fall back into the floor. They have no job right now, nothing to think about, nothing to solve, all the tension unnecessary. Wherever your hands are, if they're on you, or even if they're out to the side, feel your belly lifting and sinking back towards your spine again. Feel how long your spine is without standing and sitting and all the discs being compressed more. Imagine you can feel that looseness between the vertebrae. You feel your pelvis equally pulling down into the ground. And then feel whatever the backs of your legs come into contact with, whether it's the ground, whether it's a bolster or pillows, cushions. 
chair underneath them. Feel how heavy they are. And allow the things underneath you to lift them and support them. We don't tend to allow ourselves to receive support. Feel the ground or whatever you've put under your legs, if you did, supporting you, wanting to hold you. Notice your feet, whatever's coming into contact with your feet. Heavy heels, maybe the soles of your feet are touching the ground. I like to crack my toes. Now that we're all lying here, resting together, breathing together, taking care of ourselves individually, but together. If you want more time lying here, maybe you've got some nice soft music on, pause the video, lie here, keep it up as long as you want. Awake, maybe you even fall asleep, that's okay too. But if you're ready to come out of your practice, bring some movement back into your body, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, take a deep breath in, let it out. legs, maybe straighten them out, maybe keep them bent and rock them. And then roll to one side, just so that you can get your hands and arms underneath you to use that arm strength to push yourself back to sitting up. Come to comfortable seated. Pull up your pants if you need to, like I just did. Sit up tall and loose and breathe. The World War II Holocaust victim, Etty Hillison, said, sometimes the most important thing in a whole day is the rest we take between two deep breaths. Through this breathing, through the pause we take between our breaths, the pause we take from our active, busy, thinking, stressed out lives to come to the mat, through the movement where we find stillness of mind. It's a huge gift to take care of ourselves like this. A gift that only we can give ourselves. So bring your hands together at your heart. You can bow your fingertip, your head towards your fingertips, or lift your fingertips. Maybe the thumbs pressing against that spot between your eyebrows. And take one last breath, just for you, before you go back into the crazy lives we're living right now all of us in it together, all of us affected together. One last breath. Let it out. May this practice carry you through the rest of your day and the days to come until you're able to sit and practice with me again. Acknowledge yourself for showing up today to take this pause and these breaths. The light that is in me honors and shines on the light that I see and feel in all of you out there, all of us together. Namaste.